Welcome everybody. My name is Francisco and I'm about to start a fantasy draft with the San Francisco 49ers and you're about to witness me build a dynasty from the draft. So my plan is to take Ray Lewis first and Tom Brady second. Let's see how this works out. There he is, still available on the 17th pick. That's going to be the first guy I'm going to get. I took a couple days before starting this, deciding if I wanted to take Ray Lewis and Tom Brady, or if I just wanted to get Vic. And I thought about it a lot. But if I got Vic, there wasn't really any other middle linebacker that I would have been happy with. So I'm going to end up going with this guy right here. Plus, I think of it as getting two quarterbacks. You get Ray Lewis as the quarterback of the defense, and then you get Tom Brady as the quarterback of the offense. So let's go ahead and take him first. Here's a quick look at the first round. Rich Gannon, Jason Taylor. Oh look, the Falcons took Rich Gannon over getting Vic. Let's see who actually got Vic. The Jets. Erlacher right after. I bet Baltimore would have wanted Ray Lewis, but I was one pick ahead of them. He on the second round, Kansas City might go for another receiver or they might get Brady. Hopefully they don't get Brady before I do. Let's see what happens. Yeah, he's gone. Kansas City took him. Watch. I'm going to restart it because I have to get Lewis and Brady. But let's see if they actually if they got him. Yeah, there it is. Casey took Tom Brady. How did I know? Because on other fantasy drafts that I've done, it usually works out that way. All right, I'm going to have to restart this. It is possible to get Lewis and Brady with the first two picks because I've done it before. But things have to work out. Well, and this time, Lewis isn't there. I have to restart again. No Lewis. Another cool thing I've done before was get Terrell Owens and Randy Moss with my first two picks. That's a pretty nice, dangerous combination. But when you do that, there's not a lot of defense, a lot of defensive superstars left. Oh, here it is. First overall. First pick, and here they are in order. The highest rated player, even though these are all 99s, has to be Ray Lewis, probably because of his awareness. But I don't know if I'll be able to get Brady, because I'm going to get the last pick of the second round. See if he's there. He is there. 
Okay. This is how we're going to start our dynasty. Tom Brady. He's only a 90, but we can we can build him up. All right. Those are the first two rounds. Got the first overall. All these guys got taken. We got the last and the second. Now I get the first and the third. What I like about getting the first overall pick is that you get to have two picks back to back. When you get the last pick of the second and the first pick of the third, those are back to back. So as you go down the fantasy draft, you'll know exactly the two guys that you can get and you don't have to worry about somebody else taking them in the next round. For example, if you have the 16th pick, then the 15 picks before you, they might end up getting the guy that you want. So it's good to have these back-to-backs. Okay, so I got the first and the second. Now it's time to consider what direction we want to go in. Oh, let's see who we have. Quarterback, we're good there. Running back. The only running back I think that I'd want is this guy, Travis Henry. And he will be there till the seventh round. So we don't need to take him yet. Fullback. All star, of course. The best one. But he won't be taken until All Star is there until the 18th round. Receivers, the main receiver I'd want is Andre Johnson. He's right here, he's very expensive. He's a rookie, but he could turn into one of the best receivers in the league within about three years. And he'll go in the sixth round. Gonzalez. I'd actually get Shockey over Gonzalez because he's younger. He's cheaper, he's faster, and he's stronger. But he'll be there until around the 16th. Some linemen, guard, center. Centers don't get taken till 17th round. This D end. Defensive ends are pretty hard to find, the good ones. You can see the highest one left is 91. A D tackle. That would help out Ray Lewis having some good defensive linemen. Pat Williams, he's usually not there in the third round. He usually gets taken by the second. Linebackers are also hard to find. Good ones. And then you also have to think, am I going to run a 3-4 defense or a 4-3? But it's more important to have a good nickel package. Four linemen and two linebackers. Because after a while, in the beginning, the offenses use a lot of two receivers. But once the game starts going on, they start going into a lot of three receivers. So it would be good to have three good corners. Speaking of corners, here they are.
This guy is pretty good, but he's very expensive. 5.90. And the safeties don't get taken until the sixth rounds. The sixth round. So we got Brady and we got Lewis. Now next. What's the next move? Do we get a lineman? Defensive lineman? A D tackle? An outside linebacker? Or a corner? Okay. And now... Javon Curse might be nice. Pat Williams is another option. Jason Gilden is a pretty good option. And Chris McAllister. This is a tough decision. Between those three, McAllister, Gildan, and Pat Williams. Hmm. Not quite sure. He's Gildan. Or McAllister. What would be the next most important thing? Trying to plan ahead to see what other defensive linemen I could get. Gildan. It's kind of expensive. But he's a good linebacker. I know I'm going to want to get Terrell Suggs, but he'll be there around the 10th or 11th. And since you really only need two linebackers, because I was talking about we're going to play a lot of nickel, it could be Lewis and Suggs as the linebackers. So then, you can get a D lineman. Javon Curse is pretty good. He's not that strong, but we can take him to training camp and bump up his strength. It'd be good to have a nice pass a pass rushing presence to pressure the quarterback. And the ends, there won't be a lot of good the ends left. Mm. Pat Williams, not too too crazy about him. <laughs> 